I remember the budget of 2022 to 2023 or 2023 to 2024 when the government put in $15 million for agriculture. Mm. $15 million. Right. And out of that $15 million, not even one third of that was used for agriculture. So all these things you are saying make sense. But for it to properly make sense, it must be implemented as well. But the government is not implementing these things. You made a very interesting point, and, and it's a very good observation that you made with respect to the allocation made to a certain sector under the budgetary allocations or thing. And I'm going to make the point. I do not have the statistics before me, but I did a thorough examination of five years mm. of what was act the budget presentation and what was actually spent. I'm mm. um, spent because what happens is that when you have a budget presentation, like this year, you call a budget. Let's say so, 2023 budget has passed, mm. but then there's an audit report has to come out for 2023. Yeah. So then you'll get in that the actual what, amount yeah, of, or you get the approved allocation. Mm, what was spent? The actual mm. spent. You'll get a variance and you'll get a rate of implementation. Yeah. And you made a point that is so interesting. Do you know? Well, uh, in the assessment of 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 the budget, resp um, the budget and um, report, and I'm talking about. The, 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 the audit report, by the way. Let me make it clear. Mm. Forget about the budget being read and so, and the allocations made. Remember, you have to raise the money. Money is not there. Yeah. That is money you must mm. raise. So when the government come and talk about a million dollar budget, a billion dollar budget, mm. the money is not right there waiting mm. to spend. You have to raise it. Yeah. And the way government raises its money is for taxes, loans, and grants. Mm. And, right and now CBI. We have CBI now. I just <laughs> CBI, the great CBI. Yeah. Where we cannot account. Yeah. I say we. Interesting. Know, because mm. we are responsible as well. While the government has to be accountable and transparent, mm. but we, the people, we should get involved in the business of our country. Mm. And I believe, I say we, 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 we lack some of our energies putting interest in our own personal business. Mm. So, having done the assessment, I look at agriculture for one particular year that the audit report revealed. And there was an allocation of about 20 something, $27 million allocated to agriculture. Mm. What do you think was actually spent? Half mm. of that amount. Mm. Half of that amount. So you had a variance of 50%, mm. and an implementation rate of 50%. So it means that talk, talk on budget and allocation makes yep. no sense, mm. is what is actually implemented. Mm. So here we go. But here the interesting part. In that same report, Eighty-one million dollars was were allocated for the for the prime minister's office. Mm. Guess what was the implementation rate? Eighty-seven percent. Mm. So his money is spending, mm. but agriculture, a major sector, half of the, the main one, the main the one, main one, half actually. of it has been spent. <laughs> and you want the early allocation? Mm. Twenty-seven million dollars, as opposed to eighty-one million dollars allocated to the prime minister. Mm. What is the prime minister's office doing with all that money? That is a good question, do I? Yeah, and so. I will be revealing, revealing much of that later. Mm. Um, I have to do my own um, exposure of it. Mm. I, I, I need time for myself to do it and to make the Dominican public understand mm. where our priorities are. Mm. And that is where we at with things. And we spoke about the coffee plant earlier on. We are not too far from one mile, you know. Yeah. We have a coffee plant there mm. that was given by the Bolivarian government of Venezuela. Mm. What happened? The coffee plant is decaying at one mile. Hmm. And in what we heard, the coffee pods were sent to Dominica. Coffee pods in at some time, you know, to, to, to do the processing, to start mm. off. While we had, uh, and I say we, Dominica had a plan. We can go and talk about the plan they had yeah. in terms of propagation of plants and making it available to farmers. Mm. So they would have brought in the pods, start doing the processing of coffee, refine it to the final product. Mm. And at the time, coffee growing, that's what they would be doing still. Mm. And by the time the production of coffee comes, they would be actually taking in anything. Yeah. What has happened? This plant has never been used. You talk about waste money. Waste money. So these are the things we must do. And one day you must go and you must feature it mm. and show the world how the government boasts. And by the way, that coffee plant made three wrongs mm. in a budget cycle. Year after year, they spoke about it. Mm. When it finally came to fruition in terms of being built and constructed, mm. nothing was done. Nothing it done. has been linear without mm. no activity taking place. Mm. And we talk about agriculture, we are not serious yet. Of course not. That's that's a very sad part because Dominica, the full, I mean, even individuals from overseas in the international community who actually know about Dominica, they don't tell you tourism is the way forward for Dominica. Agriculture is the way forward for Dominica. 
and it seems like when you are allocating money and not actually utilizing that money it's for agriculture you make a good, good point on the basis of what the the outcome should be you implement it i i tend to wonder how they tend to make the budget because usually when you're writing a business plan you have to see how the money is spent bit by bit before they give you the funds and i think that is how it should be in dominica right. you write the plans this is what the money is going to be used for and then they allocate that money it's okay 50 it takes 15 million dollars for you right. to do this but then when you come down to actually the utilization of that funds it is never that case to the point where i remember watching that same budget plan and i think the, the office of the prime minister had a certain amount and it increased the office of the prime minister's budget increased to 200 and something million dollars where agriculture was 15 million dollars so i'm trying to figure out where where are the priorities of dominica when it comes down to the situation very good point and you made a point if you are involved in let's say liquor production banana liquor production mm. let's say that so you make liquor out of banana and so on. you make a punch or you make some sort of um you know nice liquor you know people like the liquor punch and so on you do mm. as you do that and you do it over and over you become perfect you you, you perfect yeah. the art in mm. fact you may even have a product unbelievable yeah and, you know a taste to none because mm. you have perfected the art of doing that over and over so you have mastered it yeah so uh, the budget allocation over the years the government like anything else past government or successive governments mm. would have had the experience and for this government particularly 20 plus years you're doing that over and over 20 presentations of budget mm. or 24 presentations of budget like to advance <laughs> you have not mastered it yet and you're telling me the main sectors you cannot fulfill half of what you allocated for them but yet you go and you do what they call you you you, you are already going to source the the, the supplementary ap appropriation as mm. by the way prescribed on the law mm. the supplementary ap as, uh, um, appropriation act is there mm. to give the government the leeway for shortfall or for mm. emergency yeah. that they can sort to if they have a shortfall in allocation that they but can you must be able to prove it you're you not just saying you know exactly it's not just going there mm. and it's interesting that notwithstanding they they visiting or using that facility which is available to them mm. they are yet to still fulfill the major sectors yeah. and to give them their full mm. their full um what they call allocation and to spend all of the money mm. and not just half so you so, think so you're correct so do you think the budget itself is like a gimmick well i mean for the past years you see in the allocator number of monies is not being used you're not seeing how the money is being used do you think it's a gimmick for the past five years mm. dominica's budget is favoring foreigners mm. dominica's budgets or past budgets have been favoring foreigners not yeah. dominicans mm. i have not and by the way to be honest i have not i i started listening to the minister of finance or the minister of finance mm. given the budget this year and some way maybe 15 minutes into his presentation i had mm. something important to do so i left mm. but just on the surface he was just gonna preamble and so and it's the same you know talking uh, points talking point reciting mm. some of the same things over and over again and so mm. and you could see cut and paste and so but i have not heard anything further to that and i've not read further to that so i cannot really give mm. a good account of you know the budget of this year what mm. i do know is that I was engaged earlier on with some young people who, who are who I, I asked I asked them have you all paid, paid attention to the budget mm. they said with budget over the years the government has neglected youth mm. and yep. it's very true mm. that is reflected too in the audit reports mm. where they do a big show about how much they allocate to youth but in terms of actual spending mm. disappears again this is why I believe it's a gimmick well and you're asking the question so all of what you are saying here is that it appears to me that we are having a budget as a formality mm. and one of the things that we have not been hearing is that a budget when you present a budget to me when you come to present the next year's budget you should tell us whether or not you had achieved your objectives mm. and you should tell us whether you had a balanced budget mm. you had a budget deficit yeah. or you had a budget surplus mm. that is what will make us know whether you're doing things. and by the way yep. mm -hmm. of all the five budgets that have did the analysis in mm. and the audit reports the government has three of these budgets experienced budget deficit mm. so which means it tell you that the expenditures were higher than 
Well, I mean, the gross, the gross domestic product at one point in time was 106% debt to GDP ratio. The, the debt to GDP was about, about that thing, and a good rating would be between <laughs> 60 something and so. <laughs> but, but these guys, the, the indicators, you know, I don't know how we do. And I, I, I blame Dominicans, the technocrats in the various ministries. I think they know what they are doing. They are trained, mm. they know what they ought to do. But for some reason, I don't know if they are letting politicians guide mm. their judgment. Mm. But mm. they shouldn't be guided by the politicians. And poli the politicians are responsible for policy. Yeah. You as a, a PS, a, pal a, a permanent secretary in your thing, you are the highest technical man there. Mm. You're supposed to have, when budgets come to you, you're supposed to make sure you manage your ministry, mm. the spending. You have to watch what you spend. You have to do watch and to sh make sure that what you say all of what you you recommended are implemented backed up, yeah, yeah. And, and do that mm. no you, you know we have a lot to talk about you know because <laughs> trust me i find nowadays <laughs> ministers want to get involved in technical work mm.